Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in session with Sumit, we are going to solve this next problem in our hacker rank series, which is between two sets. Now in this particular problem, you are given with two sets and these two sets are nothing but your two list, list A and list B. Now what you need to do, you need to find all such numbers which are satisfying these two conditions, uh, condition number one and two. Now what is condition number one? Uh, all the elements of this particular uh, array A should be the factor of this integer that we are trying to find. So if I am trying to find integer i, then all the elements in this uh, array A should be the factor of that particular integer i. And then condition number 2 says that the integer i that we are trying to find should be the factor of all the elements in array B. So this is like uh, vice versa. So all the elements in array A should be the factor of i and all the elements in factor, uh, so i should be the factor of all the elements in B. This is what we need to do. So we need to find out all these, all such numbers that is satisfying these conditions. Now let's try to better understand this problem in my, in my presentation. So as we have discussed that we need to find out all the numbers uh, that is satisfying this condition a and b now the problem is that we need to find out all the numbers but we don't know the range and to find out the range what we will do we will use the mathematical concept of lcm and hcf now what is lcm so lcm stands for least common multiple and this is the least value which is divisible by all the numbers in your series so if I have a series 2 comma 6, 2 comma 6, how I can find the LCM of it? So you just put 2 comma 6 over here and then you start dividing it with the least number. So I'll take 2 first of all and then I will take 3. So you multiply these two numbers, 2 into 3 will give you 6. So the least common multiple of 2 comma 6 is, uh, 2 comma 6, is 6. Now if I take this number and if I divide with any number uh, which is 2 and 6 I will always get a remainder as 0 so 6 percent 6 will also give me 0 now this is what I am trying to find out over here so what I will do I will find the LCM of this array A and that will be my lower limit because that is the least value so when I say uh, that all the uh, all the elements in uh, array a should be the factor of integer i i'm basically saying this thing okay and now out of all those numbers what i will do i will find out the least number and that will be my lower limit so the lcm of my array a will act as the lower limit now how to find the upper limit so upper limit will be nothing but the hcf of array b so if you have two numbers which is 24 and 36 how you can find hcf so HCF is nothing but uh, you take the highest number uh, among both of them and you keep it in, in this particular area and over here this will be there so one time this will be 24 this will return you 2 this will be 1 you take this again over here 24 this will be 2 times and this will be 0 so this is the HCF value now what what is the definition of HCF it is the greatest value that divides each value in your array now what I mean to say over here that if you take any number from this array B and if you divide by this HCF you will get the remainder as 0 so 24 percent 12 will give you the remainder as 0 and 36 percent 12 will give you the remainder as 0 now this is the highest value so for this particular condition we have found the highest value for this particular condition we have found the lowest value and that is we, we that is our range so what we will do we will find out the lcm of array a and the hcf of array b and that will be our range now once i have the range so let's say uh, l is the lower range h is the upper range now once i have this range what I can do, I can take each number from this range. So let's say in iteration number one, the first number is i. I can take each number from this array and I can make a check. 
so what check i need to do i need to check this that each uh, each element of this array a should be the factor of this i so what i am trying to say over here uh, when i say i percent 2 this should be 0 and i percent 6 this should be 0 similarly we need to check that i should be the factor of all the numbers in array b so basically 24 divided by i should be 0 and 36 percent i should be 0 now if all these conditions are true then that basically means i wanted to take i so i is the number that i want to take and that will be considered so similarly i need to iterate from l to h for all the numbers and i need to check these conditions now once i check all these conditions i need to return how many such numbers are there uh, that are satisfying these this condition okay so now let's try to better understand this problem in in my uh, in my jupyter notebook so that we can solve it what i have done over here i have just taken my array a and b in a list uh, in list and the variable is a and b and now what i will do i will first of all find out the lcm of this array and the hcf of this now we have the function of finding hcf in my math library which is also known as gcd so the hcf and gcd both are the same thing hcf is highest common factor gcd is uh, greatest common divisor so uh, from math import gcd and uh, now i can basically find the hcf between any two numbers so 16 comma 32 will give me 16 now remember one thing that this function gcd will only work with two inputs if i try to use one more input over here which is 96 it will throw me an error because it can take only two numbers so what i will be required to do i need to find out the gcd between two numbers then use this to find out the gcd with the third number and that is what something like this so gcd and then over here i'll be having the third number 96 so this is my gcd so i have found out the gcd between 16 and 32 then the gcd between uh, the result of that gcd will will be used with this to find out the overall gcd so we can automate this process using reduce functionality from func tools so from func tools import reduce and then i can just simply say reduce gcd so this is a function that i wanted to apply on the on the array b so b and that will again return me 16 so what i can do i can just say h is equal to reduce gcd comma b so i have my hcf ready so h basically consi uh, consists of the hcf and that is basically my upper limit but how to find lcm so to find lcm we don't have any direct function but we have the logic we can create the function for a lcm so there is a mathematical logic that basically says if you multiply two numbers that will be equal to the lcm of those two numbers into the hcf of those two numbers or basically the gcd of those two numbers so when the lcm and the hcf is multiplied for two numbers that will be exactly equal to the multiplication of those two numbers now i can use this same logic so i can say lcm of a comma b will be nothing but a into b divided by gcd of a comma b now we can write the function for this so let me convert this into a comment and let me write a function for this so def lcm it will take two values k and m and it will return me uh, a sorry k into m divided by gcd of k comma m now again um, since i want the output of this particular function to be an uh, integer not a float value here i will use an integer division so instead of getting 1.0 2.0 3.0 3 as an answer i will just get 1 2 3 and now i can again use this 
uh, reduce functionality uh, to to find out the LCM because again this LCM function is also working with two numbers so L is equal to LCM of oh sorry reduce LCM and A now we have the L which is LCM now we have the upper limit we have the lower limit now what is our next task we need to iterate between these two limits and we need to find out all those numbers that is satisfying condition number a and so condition number one and two so for i n range l comma h plus one now i am writing h plus one because i want to consider h also then what i need to do i need to check uh i need to check the condition a and b for a it will be applied over uh so for uh so let me let me write the code and it will be easy for me to ag again explain it so let's say c1 case 1 is equal to uh, i uh, so it will be basically i percent number a for number a n a now here what I'm trying to do so let me let me copy this and try to explain it to you so let's say my first number is my first number in this range so you know the range is from 4 comma 16 so the first number will be 4 so let's say i is equal to 4 now what I'm doing I am checking this 4 with all the elements of a so 4 uh, 4 divided by 2 should give a remainder as 0 uh, and let me write it over here remainder as 0 and 4 divided by 4 should give you a remainder as 0 that is your condition number 1 now this particular thing will return you a list of both true and true now what you can do you can use a function known as all so all will return you true when all the elements are true in that list so it is returning me oh uh, one second it is returning me true right so here I can say all and here it will be equal to 0 so and similarly I can write my condition number 2 where all now condition number 2 is that number B percent I should be equal to 0 basically uh, the number that we are trying to find is a factor of all the numbers in your uh, series B for number B in B and B is nothing but your uh, the the second array and I'm again writing all and that will return me true if all the values in this particular list is true now what I can do I can count so let me create a counter over here count is equal to 0 now if this is true if this output is true and if this output is true I will increase my counter so I can just say count plus is equal to c1 into c2 now why I'm writing c1 into c2 because if you multiply true into true this will return you 1 in case both are true if 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 any one is false this will this will basically return you 0 so I'm I will add 1 in case both of them are true else I will add 0 and then what I can do I can just print my count so print count so how many numbers are there between uh, how many such numbers are there which are basically uh, which are basically satisfying condition number one and two there are only three numbers right so let's try to write the same code in in the hacker rank platform so uh, So here we have to complete the function and uh, we can see that we so uh, hacker rank has already read everything for us we need to just complete the function so let's write it over here first of all let's write the uh, let's import both the packages so from from math import gcd and from from func tools 
import uh, reduce and now we can we can write the logic basically we can first of all find the lcm and the hcf value but before that we need to also write the function for lcm so let's write the function for lcm def lcm k comma m is equal to uh, <coughs> return k into m integer division gcd of k comma m so this is what lcm is right now we can uh, find out the upper limit and the lower limit which is basically lcm and the sf so l is equal to reduce your lcm comma a similarly your h is equal to reduce uh, gcd comma b so we have a and b and now we can write the for loop so for i in range l comma h plus 1 uh, we will write the condition number 1 c1 is equal to all i percent num a is equal to 0 for i in a similarly uh, sorry for num a for num a in i sorry for num a in a and similarly over here c2 condition number 2 is all uh, num b percent i is equal to 0 for num b in b and now i can uh, increase the counter so before that let's have the counter c and t is equal to 0 and over here I can increase the counter so should this should be num b so counter plus is equal to c1 into c2 and now I basically require to return so from this function I need to return the value of count so return count now let's try to run this code and check whether it is able to satisfy the condition or not so I'm able to pass the sample test case let's look at the performance in the non sample test case so all the test cases are passed this sec second test case is running looks like second test case is taking a lot of time no it has been run so now uh, we were able to solve this problem and we have gained the mm, points 10 points also so this is your solution for between two sets we will meet in the next video